Hi everyone and welcome back for a brand new series in UE4 Tutorials. This series is all about animation and what we're going to do is try and make an animated 3D character in a third person action game. So to begin with I've got a brand new project here completely blank and added a floor to it and what I've done is I've already gone to Mixamo if you haven't gone to Mixamo.com before go to Mixamo just search for it in Google and I've found and downloaded my uh, some animations here so I don't have to waste time showing you guys how to animate characters and importing them in okay so here's a character mesh I've been using along with its associated skeleton and some animations along with it okay so first thing we'll do is set up uh, a character to run around in my world so I'm going to go into my player character folder and create a new blueprint class of a character and I'm going to call it my player actually we call it my player character sorry player character and open up the player character now it's mesh you want to choose the one you just imported in my case it's this one and I bring him in rotate him so it's facing the correct way perfect click compile and next thing I'm going to do because I'm making a third person action game I need to make a spring arm with a camera attached so a spring arm is a component which acts like a boom a camera boom and the spring arm basically is attached at one end and you have to attach then you attach something else at the other end and with it selected you can go add component camera so now the spring arm will keep the, ca the camera a set distance away and this also interacts with like collisions as well so it will push the camera closer but never further away what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it over the, sho uh, the, sol the shoulder I can't speak sorry and move the spring arm not the camera the spring arm be focused above the character's shoulder click compile and if you, want, you can drag this into the world and you can see the little preview of the window there so I'm going to bring my character, my camera in a bit so ideally see both at the same time uh, to bring the camera in you want to change the spring arms target arm length which is one of these details just drag it in like so location wise bring it up like there perfect so that is the camera with the player character I'm going to remove it from the world because I've got a player start here so I'm going to make the player start use our character to do that you need to make your own game mode so I'm going to go right click blueprint class new game mode base call it my game mode and open it up and here near you'll see default pawn class it's one of the class default options uh, by it uh, on its own we'll say default pawn change that to say your player character compile it and close it we now need to tell this game to use that game mode to do that we go to edit project settings maps and modes and choose your game mode and close this down and if you click play your character now spawns in the world he can't move he's not animated but he's in the world so next thing to do is set up the movements so I'm going to go to edit project settings and I'm going to go to inputs okay down the left hand side input and here you have action mappings and access mappings access mappings are inputs that are analog and go from zero to uh, well minus one to one and action mappings are either zero or one okay so they're like buttons so we're just adding axis mappings for now so the first one you want to add is move forward and we're going to choose w key for this and we also want to do the move backwards as well but instead of making another axis mapping what we can do is just change the scale on an s key so click on the little plus next to move forward and we can change and add another option here i'm going to choose s and the scale of this can be minus one basically it will flip the result i.e move it backwards add another ma axis mapping and this one's going to be move right and here we're going to have a d 
And again, we're going to do what we've done last time. This time with A being minus 1. Add another axis mapping. We're going to do turn. And that's going to be handled by the mouse. So we're going to type in mouse. And you want mouse X. So the X coordinate, which is the horizontal. And another one, another axis mapping of look up. And this is going to be using mouse Y. But this one will be minus 1 by default because up is negative, down is positive. So we want to flip that around. So we want it minus 1 looking up. With those in place, close it and go back to your player character blueprint. And on the event graph, you want to use those events that we just made. So type in move forward and you'll see an access event turn up. Okay, it means we can access that input event. From there, we're going to go add movement input. And you want to hit the scale value to access value. So that minus one or one will go into this and basically flip it if we need to. The world direction though, we're going to get for the forward direction. We're going to get that from the controller. So if you go get controlled controller rotation, and basically this is basically returns as it says there the view rotation of this pawn. Okay, which way is it looking? From there, we're going to get the rotation vector here, and go get forward vector and plug that into world direction. If I click compile, I can move forward and backwards. Back into our event graph, we're now going to do left and right. So here we're going to go move right. Again, much like we did before, add movement input, scale value to axis value, and this time, Rather than get the forward vector, we want to get the right vector, right vector, and plug that into world direction. Click compile, and go back to test it, and move forward, backwards, left, and right. You want to keep testing as you go with this, so you know when it goes wrong, where to fix it. So next thing we going to do is the turning and looking. So here, we am going to type in turn, and with the turn, we're going to uh add the uh your sorry add controller your input your handles a sort of turning rotation and again access value into value here and next one we want to change is the pitch and pitch handles the looking up and down uh motion so look up vent onto here so there so hopefully that will make sense what's going on here. So get forward vector simply gets the uh, the forward direction, and the get right vector gets the right hand direction, and plugs that into our movement input. Okay, click compile, and let's play and see what happens here. Moving back and forwards, left and right. But if I move the mouse, I've got that rotation there. But I can't look up and down. Okay. Now the reason why I can't look up and down. It's because I have my spring arm inheriting uh, things, okay? So they inherit the pitch, your and roll from the actual capsule component. What I want to do, though, is use the pawn control rotation instead. So if I tick this box here, click compile. Okay, and as you can see, we can move backwards, forwards, left and right. And I can look up and down and around the world, like so. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is set up the animations. But what we're going to do is going to save that for the next part of the video and we, when we start making our animation blueprint. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see the next part straight away on Patreon, you can do. By donating just $1, uh, you can see every single video before it comes out, as well as many other benefits. So if you want to help me out, just like these fantastic people have done already, I'd be greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.